whoever denies me before men, I also will deny before my Father who is in heaven. He goes on to say that, so everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. Do you want to be denied before God or do you want to be acknowledged? Everyone, of course, wants to be acknowledged, but how can you be acknowledged if you're too shy to acknowledge him during your life on earth? What are we doing? Are we still sleeping? Some of us think we're too young to start serving God now. When will you ever grow old? Because every day everyone wants to feel young. Let us serve the Lord in everything we do, in how we dress, how we speak, how we coordinate ourselves with our friends. Let us show God in our way of speech. Let us not be embarrassed to sing for Him. Let us not be embarrassed to read the Bible. I sometimes am so embarrassed to carry a Bible to school. I only want to carry it when I have a Bible class. But I look back and feel pity for myself how stupid I have been. Some of you, when the teacher asks you to pray at the beginning of class, you're so shy, you don't want to pray as if you don't know how to speak any language. Please, God is calling us now. Let us make a difference. Baptized or not baptized, God works in every heart. He speaks to us swift, swift, swiftly, softly, and sweetly. He is there. So my dear friends, as we leave church today as youth, I beg of you, with all that you are, it doesn't matter where you come from, whether you don't speak English fluently, whether you speak Korean, Japanese, or Russian, it doesn't matter. Communicate to someone about God's love, and he will acknowledge you in front of his Father. God came on earth to die for us. He gave up all his pleasures in heaven just for you and me. Why can't we give up our pleasures on earth? Heaven is the only place that is good for us because they're in heaven, they're true riches. Am I lying? If you're with me, say amen. amen. Say amen once again. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Friends, do you want to perish? Some of you may know me too well. You're wondering why is she acting so serious? I'm so serious because I'm affected. My God was mocked. Wouldn't you feel the same way? Mm -hmm. The God that loves you on the day you were baptized, how did you feel? You felt like you belonged to him. Why don't you feel the same way today? Life is the same every day. Live today like Jesus is coming today. Live today like you'll come any minute. If he came now, do you think you'll go to heaven? If he came tomorrow, do you think you're even ready? God is calling you. Let us make a difference. The next one. In Jeremiah 10, 17, he says, I, the Lord, search the heart and test the mind to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his deeds. God will bless us according to the fruits of our deeds, according to what we have made the most of our time on earth. If some of you are just too busy listening to secular songs, I'm telling you God won't bless you and I will not lie. Take some time to sing for him in the morning and he will bless you. Bring people to the church and he will bless you. At least even if you don't bring one, at least if you try, he will bless you for that. Speak out the truth. Do not be ashamed. Stand firm. He will be there to protect you. He says in Joshua 1 verse 29, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to give you a hope and a future, not to harm you, but to prosper you. So therefore, why should you feel alone? He will be by your side. He is there. He also goes on to say in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11, I've forgotten which place, but he says, Enjoy the days of your youth, but remember God will judge you. He gives us freedom. What kind of a God do we serve? A good God. He gives us freedom of choice. He has never told you, worship me, worship me, or I'll shoot you. No. He gives you the choice to do whatever you want. Therefore, why don't you at least choose to come by His side? And above everything else, He searches our heart. He tests our minds. He goes through every single aspect that makes us who we are. He is there in everything. Therefore, He is looking upon you to make a difference from today and onwards. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Say amen. amen. Everybody today, when you go to church, our theme is revival and reformation. Let me see revival and reformation in everybody. Let me see a difference. You may not have attended the week of prayer faithfully, but today I'm telling you, you will hear the message and you must go home changed. Because you cannot just go to church and think you'll come out changed. You have to go to church with the feeling of that I want to be changed and only then can you will be changed. 